Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Sagittarius this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 14th to the 20th of September and I'm just quickly because I did uh, did do an introduction but I might have forgotten to mention there's a special offer uh, on at the moment and you can order it and pay for it if you would like to give it as a Christmas present or take um, an extensive reading later in the year or perhaps in the new year and then I can give you perhaps a quick reading on what is coming in up in the next year it will be 30 minutes for 35 euros and I'll just give you a code and you can book a reading later okay now usually for a yearly reading I take about an hour but I'll do as much as I can within the 30 minutes and give or take two three four minutes doesn't matter but take your advantage okay we can also do a general reading what is going to happen in the new year as a new year's reading as well okay here we go um, you are coming in big and bold because this is your card temperance which represents you you I feel you are balanced you are in your power because this card means balancing well you've got your balance that is what I feel you are feeling emotionally imbalanced you want to get into action look at that fireball and remember this is the rainbow so earth and uh, heaven is connected somebody up there is watching over you you're going into action then you have the eight of Pentacles okay work might be at your center okay the eight of Pentacles means that you've got recognition for your hard work and therefore you might be starting a new study or you might be uh, starting a new study to specialize in your trade to sharpen those talents of yours there could also be a pay rise you are in the center of being recognized you are the magician look at this we've got the magician at the end of the week you have the knowledge you have the gift of the gab so you can do the talk and the walk you are grounded because you've got recognition with the eight of Pentacles as well and you are grounded you are firm you are balanced so you have both your feet on the ground and you've got your emotions in balance as well and that's why you can go into action and go for what you want because that is you Sagittarius you're a fire sign 
the uh, magician also represents um, Gemini or Aries so there might be a Gemini or Aries around you but you oh my gosh you've got the king of pentacles look at that and we're going to place him over this right you've got the golden touch the meters touch everything that you touch you can will turn out positively and will turn out into the gold pot at the end of the radi uh, rainbow like the leprechaun if you can catch the leprechaun well you've caught it you can have the gold pot I don't know why that just came up because usually I can't even remember the name uh, the leprechaun okay well here we go the next card that you have is the hanged man okay so the hanged man might be here as well or might might have been here um, before the card came out okay like I said this is the energy of the coming week so there might already be delays and you like you couldn't start this study because due to uh, something in 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 the firm or the business perhaps they didn't have the financial uh, backing to back you to do an internship perhaps now you might start doing that internship or going on to the next level because they've given you recognition with the eight of Pentacles so there have might have been delays due to something else because of money now you will have the money and the balance and the magic touch to carry on and take this new study or advancement of the study you also have a different p perspective uh, you also have a diff different perspective of life between actually getting what you want and doing it um, and also the financial benefits from it or that you know that you're going to get big financial uh, benefits the golden pot the golden pot at the rainbow is yours now if you're not hooked up there could be somebody that you're meeting the king of pentacles represents Taurus okay he might bring you an offer he might bring you money he might bring you suggestions this could be a father or a mature man that will help you advance okay that will might have brought you back in balance as he is intertwined with the rainbow and to me a rainbow always means heaven and earth is connected so it could be somebody um, that has passed or has left you an inheritance so you might be getting an inheritance okay wow magic now to top it all you have the heart and the heart is number six from the big arcana in this deck and number six in the big arcana is Gemini so there might be a Gemini that um, could have is passed over and could uh, be leaving you an inheritance okay so or you might meet a new love a soulmate this could be a Gemini as the lovers card is or does represent Gemini okay they uh, they feel like they are your soulmate because the lovers also means balance soulmate you've met your soulmate or you're going to meet your soulmate so your soulmate could be uh, a Taurus could be a Sagittarius could be a Gemini a Gemini again here or an Aries but Gemini is quite prominent in this reading because of the two cards representing Gemini you've got the yin and the yang yin and the yang in here so Sagittarius if you uh, meet a Gemini it's an air sign air can uh, give fire oxygen so you might uh, start burning up and the passion butterflies will be going in your tummy okay make sure that if you want this to last this relationship uh, 
um, and be an extensive relationship not just passion because fire means passion and you do have fire here and here don't get burned out learn from the past know your boundaries again circle circle know your boundaries know how to keep the balance yin and yang stay balanced know your boundaries know their boundaries and have respect for each other's boundaries so that you don't get burned out you do have recognition look the yin and the yang is right in the middle of this card the eight of pentacles you might of you might meet your soulmate in business a soulmate doesn't have to be a partner f in a relationship it could be a business relationship wow this is mind-blowing you're both people of action uh, the fire signs are logical they think about things are strategic the air sign Gemini is more from let's go and fight for what we want and justice but they want also clarity so you can bounce ideas off each other so long you know how to maintain the balance keep the communication going and don't fly off the handle just like that compromise compromise okay balance okay keep the communication going don't get all fiery up fired up because it makes the Gemini fired up and make tell the Gemini not to get fired up either okay now the uh, angel cards this is um, an angel card from uh, Anne Ellis Tarot I'll leave the link to her uh, channel as well have a look at her channel and my you've got the action card here as well number seven so you've got a lucky number in your uh, reading the time to shine card says time to stand up for yourself think your choices through with care okay stay in balance that is what this card also means you've got so many cards balancing each other depending on your masculine feminine or on your partner your soulmate whether it's in business or in love there you go number seven look at her thinking think things through before you speak think that is what I'm also hearing the answer of the angels don't stop this is an action card so don't stop take action as to what you want but do it with um, uh, empathy um, also with uh, a proper intonation don't get fired up stay balanced stay calm awesome reading I love it and if you're not hooked up and it's your choice I hope you meet your soulmate either in love or in business but these two cards are telling me there will be a new partnership you've got it what it takes go for it ciao ciao enjoy your week and be blessed and stay safe please give us the thumbs up thank you very much for the last time because you and Aquarius gave me loads of thumbs up big smack smacker and big hugs ciao ciao my darlings Bye, Sergi.